Radio. All right, Toasters, listen up. I have some grievances with Trials of Osiris in Destiny 2, and I want to voice them today. We're going to be going over some ways Bungo needs to change the Trials of Saint 69. That's right, because it's kind of fucked. All right, everyone knows it. Everyone knows it's totally fucked. The loot pool is fucked. Everything about it's fucked, and we need to change it. Anyway, so we're going to be discussing some ways I think it should be changed. And in the comments section, I want you all to leave how you think it should be changed as well. All right, let's get into this. All right, so right off the bat, I want to talk about the loot pool. So there's an abundance of weapons you can get from trials. But what we're going to focus on is kind of two or three weapons. Astral Horizons, Summoner, and if you really want the rocket launcher because those are really what you're aiming for to get when it comes to trials weapons there's something pretty annoying about these weapons all right hey astral horizons is about the same as fell winners and fell winners everyone got for basically free even though astral horizons is extremely hard to get all right easy way to change this make it so that astral horizons is just better than fell winners in most ways because it's a shotgun you work hard to earn, so it should be good. Second, Summoner. It needs to have better perks than Gnawing Hunger. It's, it's just worse than Gnawing Hunger, and I don't know why. Gnawing Hunger is so easy to get. We need to have a change here, Bungo. All right, Summoner needs to be better than Gnawing Hunger, not, not vice versa. That's not how that should work. Okay, if you work hard for something, you should have a good weapon, okay? It should not be worse than something that's easy to get, like Gnawing Hunger. Okay, all you have to do is pop an Umbral and you have it. For Summoner, you actually have to play Trials. You actually have to get either three wins or sometimes seven. I don't really know if that's been the case recently, but the point is it's a harder weapon to get, so it should be better. Okay, the armor is just fine, honestly. It's pretty cool looking. A lot of people use it. It's actually good. So next, I want to move into how Trials is set up. Okay, first off, matchmaking. If you've gone flawless this week, you should only be fighting other players that have gone flawless. You should not be fighting people who have yet to go flawless. Okay, it's like the grind in CSGO to get a higher rank. Getting out of silver is nearly impossible because you get all the smurfs that are a lot better. But once you get to gold nova, it's a lot easier to get to MG. Okay, same in trials. The first win is the hardest. That should not be the case. Okay? The last wins should be the hardest because you should be facing people who are at their fifth win if you are at your fifth win. You should be fighting people if you're at your first win who are also at their first win. If you've gone flawless, fight people that have gone flawless. If you're on your seventh win, fight people. A reoccurring theme, okay? It's pretty simple to follow. You should not be fighting people who have gone flawless and are token farming. I think Bungo needs to fix that. Hackers aren't as bad right now. So we don't need to worry about that. But if Bungo could just fix those couple of things, Trials of Osiris would be so much nicer, so much smoother, and so much more fun. Anyway, quick bid today. All I wanted to talk about. See y'all. <laughs>